Hi, I'm Brandon Brooks. This is the Washington International Diplomatic Academy that provides practical professional training in diplomacy. As part of our video series previewing our sessions that we provide here, I'm joined by Ambassador James Zumwalt. He will be teaching diplomacy crisis management, and he has spent 35 years in the United States Foreign Service, including the ambassador to Senegal in West Africa. So Ambassador, what can we look forward to in one of your sessions? Well, I, first of all, I very much appreciate the opportunity to come and meet all of you and congratulate you on your interest in diplomacy. I think it's a marvelous career. Uh, what I wanted to talk about, though, in terms of crisis management is a case study of how Embassy Tokyo responded to the horrible uh, accident that occurred up in uh, northeastern Japan with uh, the second largest earthquake ever recorded, with uh, an acid tsunami that ended up killing over 40,000 people and leaving several hundred thousand homeless, and finally with our response to the nuclear crisis that was created when the uh, nuclear reactors up in Fukushima were overwhelmed by the tsunami and uh, they uh, began uh, emitting radiation into the atmosphere. Uh, we had many uh, uh, 200,000 Americans living in Japan. Half of those were connected to the military, but the other half were all individual citizens, and many of them had family and friends who were contacting us asking for help in finding their loved ones. When you have a massive disaster like this, it really does require a whole of government response. And a large embassy like Tokyo has many, many government agencies, and we really needed the help of all of them working together in order to manage the tremendous challenges we faced. I also wanted to talk a little bit about some of the work we did in managing the interagency process in Washington to make sure that the United States government did everything it could to help our friends, the Japanese. Thank you, Ambassador. Thank you. And thank you for your interest in diplomacy. See you next time.